Hey, this is James the XD Man with another quick tech tip with the Mossberg 500. And the customer brought us this gun because he had an issue with the safety on the back, uh, the safety that uh, goes forward and backwards. What had happened was, uh, if you take a look at the factory safety, yeah, it's broken, that little plastic piece. And so what ended up happening was this little hole right here. Uh, how it works is there's a spring that fits in there, and on top of that spring there's a ball bearing that rides in there. And the ball bearing fell out, and it chewed up the spring, and every time you would shoot the gun, the safety would kick on or kick, you know, uh, it was just a really bad situation. So what we did was order a fantastic little kit from NDZ Performance, uh, their Mossberg uh, safety kit, and it comes with this really awesome aluminum safety. And that safety has been upgraded. It's got a little nub on there it makes it a heck of a lot easier to manipulate that safety so now i'm going to talk you through getting the safety back together on this mossberg uh and the easiest way of doing that now first thing i'm going to show you is that the gun is going to want to talk to you so you look at the safety and you wonder how the heck does it go in there right what's the orientation so let me show you a little trick on the back of the trigger pack right there that safety transfer bar the gun is going to want to talk to you notice how the angles correspond so when it's in the gun that's how it goes in there so if you were to flip it backwards notice they don't really match in there so if you're ever confused and you don't remember how to do it, pick up the trigger pack, look at the safety bar, transfer bar, and look at the actual safety, and you'll see that the angles match pretty good. And that's the indication right there to tell you what the direction to put that in there. So let's zoom back into our receiver. And the easiest way of doing this, now remember this is how our orientation goes in there. It fits in there just like that. Check out this simple trick. You take your finger, come straight through the bottom. <laughs> Look at that. You can hold it right into place. You could drop all your other pieces in there, and as long as you're holding it, you could get it working really good. So right there, that's the trick of using your finger. The next trick that you should do is always use a little bit of gunsmith glue. Uh, some grease. Go ahead and put a little bit of grease in there. Go ahead and put your spring into place. Go ahead and use a little bit more grease. And then we're going to drop our ball bearing into place. See it right there? And now we're going to go ahead and use our finger trick to put that safety in. So we're going to go ahead and finger our Mossberg. Yeah, there we go. Check how easy that was to get that in there aligned. Yeah, and then now it's not going to fall out of place. Next thing what we're going to do is put our top plate in there. Just drop it right on top just to hold everything together. And... Now, before I actually put the safety on there, I want to show you the old screw. That nasty one-way screw that Mossberg puts on there from the factory. Let's get rid of that. The cool thing about the NDZ kit is that they give you this hex head screw that uh, if you ever need to remove it, put it on and off, uh, makes your life a heck of a lot easier. So now that uh, we've got our safety aligned with our plate, uh, and, and the ball bearings in place, everything is in place. Let's go ahead and put our safety on, just right on top of it. Now let's go ahead and drop our screw into place. Screws into place. Notice I'm doing this one-handed almost. Now, look at that, even though that's turning, 
I could actually let go now. Once I got a couple threads in there, and now what you could do, instead of having to worry about the bottom and the top, the screw's held in place, it's holding the safety. So now you could make sure that your ball bearing is in, in place. Go ahead and orient orientate your safety. Make sure everything's in there. And now we're gonna go ahead and cinch it down. All right, so we got our assembly put back together. Now let's do a functions test and make sure the detent's actually working. So uh, to do that, just push it back, push it on. Pretty authoritative click going on there, isn't it? All right, go ahead and put the rest of your gun back together and uh, let's uh, do a live fire test. <laughs> 